YouTube video take one. Starting off with my computer build, I have the, started off with the case, the Carbide Series 500R, there's the box. It's already built, but I'm showing you, I kept the boxes. Put in a Sabertooth 990FX board with a, I think it's called Zion Power Supply, I like the blue light that backs for the background of the PC. Had a four core FX chip in until the 8150 came in, just for like a couple days. Uh, Corsair Vengeance RAM with the uh, motherboard there. I had to crank up the settings in the BIOS to get it to run at the right speed. So if you see, see people saying the Sabertooth won't run faster than 1330, they're wrong. Got an OCZ SSD drive to run the operating system. I also have a terabyte drive also in there. Twin uh, SLI GTX 560 Ti cards. Save the boxes for those two. And of course, the Corsair's best water cooler H100. Boxes I kept right there. All right, here we go with my chair where I sit. I got my 19 inch LG. There's the bulldozer. Little Iron Man my son gave me. It's completely off, been sitting for about five minutes. I'm going to show you how it starts up for the demonstration here. I just turn the button on. Let's see how long it takes to fire up. I can hold the camera still. If anybody sees anything wrong with the way I got it loading, please comment. It's my first computer build and I'm just ecstatic about it. But I probably did some things wrong. And there's Windows. Really pleased with how fast it loads Windows on on the computer with that SSD OCZ hard disk. It's just phenomenal to me how fast it can be on Windows. And there we have it. I'll show you the computer again with the lights on it. I really like the lights. Little Iron Man my son gave me. Okay, enough showing off the lights. Down to some business here. Pull up some stats. Going to system properties. Right now it's reading a <coughs> 7.6 on the Windows Experience Index. Got the AMD FX 8150 8 core processor. You can read all that. 16 gigabytes of RAM. I've got two hard drives in it an SSD OCZ 120 gigabytes and uh, some brand of one terabyte. But I made the mistake of putting in a 3 GPS. When I could have put in a 6 G, GBS, sorry, gigabytes per second, not GPS, uh, 6 gigabytes per second. Uh, the OCZ runs on 6 gigabytes per second, but the uh, other hard drive is only 3. But I could have bought a hard drive that runs on 6. Uh, that's, that's the stats there. Um, I've got this, these other stats really impressive from this program I bought with the computer parts from Tiger Direct uh, just wanted to show you the world rank according to the software is 8% uh, it started off at uh, like 13% in the world rank when I had a 4 core processor uh, 
and then I put the new one in and it jumped up to 8%. That I'm sure it's going to drop quite a bit, but I'm happy right now for sure. I spent about 2200 just in the parts. Um, anyway, those are my showing off stats. I want to show you what uh, how fast programs load. Like, a uh, real hard one to load is Adobe CS5. And like Photoshop. <clears throat> I'll show you how happy I am with how it loads Photoshop. Looking for it here. Kind of tricky holding the camera and just using the mouse here. There we go, Photoshop. Yeah, I clicked it. We'll see how long it takes. See, on my old computer, <clears throat> this took forever. And it does, it does load slow, but boom, there it is. You know, that's the first Photoshop. Relatively quick for, for a computer to load that program. It's very hard. Um, World of Warcraft, jeez, it's just phenomenal with World of Warcraft. Uh, zoning from <coughs> portals, you know, in the world. Well, I just loaded World of Warcraft, so it seems I'll, I'll skip that one. Never mind. It's still loading. Made all the, uh, the add-ons. Uh, patches, that's what they are. Battlefield plays really well. Clicked it now. Let's see how it loads. Well, Battlefield takes a while. I'm gonna skip all that. I'm gonna skip, shut it down, and show you the insides. Because I really like the way it looks on the inside. Yeah, it's down, shutting down. Go back over here. And as the, removing the screw from the top. I'm going to have to take it all the way out. It's got the floppy on the case. really loved this case when I was building it. Just a total breeze. Got that. I just pulled off and down. It's got a cable to disconnect in there for the fan. But I could use an assist on it. I could just hold the camera because I'm, I'm not going to disconnect the fan. See what we got in here. There's the twin GTX 560 Ti, whatever. Supposedly overclocked cards already. There's the cards. Got the connection with the motherboard SLI. There's the motherboard the cooler. I don't have push pull on the fans. I just got the pushing fans up. I vented the fans up, out the top, the back ones sucking in air, and this one on the sides pushing air in, and the front two also push, where are they, there they are, they're pushing in, got the drives there, um, I'll show you the, well, let's see, how easy these drives bays are, it's just, Pull it right on out if you want. If one hooked up, this case is amazing. They just slide right out. Anyway, there's a Zion 1000 watt power supply. Okay, I'm boring you all to death, so at least I'm bored. There's my computer, my beast. I'm very happy, very lucky. My wife spent this much money on a computer, um, especially not having ever built one before. If you're thinking about building a computer and you're a little scared, just go for it. If I can do it, anyone can. Just read a lot on the internet, get lots of tips, and y'all can do it. So, thanks YouTube.